الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علیہ رسول اللہ محمد ابن عبد اللہ و علیہ و صحبی و من اما بعد After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending peace and blessings to our Master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, so so today's lesson, insha'Allah, will be more of an abstract lesson. We will try to mix color and figure out what will come with as the end product. I have in mind something like... Um, landscape but not a real landscape an abstract landscape so we will try to figure out what will be the end product of what's in my mind and that's the beauty of an abstract art because you don't have to think and overthink you just need to flow with what's in your mind and put it into paper so inshallah ta'ala before we start as usual we do a recap of our previous lesson And alhamdulillah, we managed to see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had taught us in the Holy Quran about the ocean and about the night, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had dedicated a whole chapter in the Holy Quran named after the night and a whole chapter in the Holy Quran named after the moon, which we managed for a beginner, we managed to paint it on our previous lesson. So inshallah today, as I have introduced earlier, we will start by um, preparing our paints. I am going to use a black paint, aswadun, and yellow, asfar, and gray, which will make out our abstract painting today. I'm going to use the bigger brush, So always make sure it's neat, make sure it does not have any other paint on it because if it has any traits of another paint, it will mix up with the paint that we are going to use and you won't like it. So I'll mix black and white to come up with color gray. And on my canvas, before proceeding, I've masked the canvas with a masking tape. I've put a tape across so that it guides me in what I'm prepared to do. So you can do the same. It's, if you wish, it can be on the middle. If you wish, it could be below part of the middle. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We'll start our painting. So I'll paint the upper parts color gray. Remember, it's just an abstract. It's an abstract of a landscape. So a landscape can be mountains, hills, river, trees, all of those uh, landscapes. So, this mine is an abstract landscape. So, I know some of you are already asking questions. What landscape is color gray? Inshallah, we'll see the outcome of it. There are so many ways of painting an abstract painting. Some just throw colors at the canvas, which is totally acceptable. Some use brushes to make strokes on the canvas. There's nothing wrong with that. So you can also do that. When you have free time, you can explore that. As we say, art is just your imagination and your creativity. How creative are you? So I'm done with my upper part of the abstract. 
which is gray. So after it dries up, we will remove it, then we will paint something on the lower part of the canvas. It has dried up, so we are removing the masking tape. So that's like my sky, it's a sky, an abstract sky. So let's make now the land, that's the sky. Let's make an abstract land. We know land to be color brown or black, but I am using yellow as my land. You can use another color, I prefer yellow. So you just apply. After removing the masking tape, Don't be afraid, don't be stiff, loosen up a bit in your hand. It's easy. It's not a must you use the colors I'm using. You can use different colors. I just prefer to use these colors. which I really like then because already from your skin you can from your screen you can see that my painting is bright it's colorful but you have the freedom of choosing any other color you like and I'll try to be very keen so that I don't mess up the upper part. Also, you can try and put a mask, masking tape over the gray part and you will get a good result also. So, my table, I have some strings and we will use them while the paint is drying up. I'll dip them in a black paint. Just soak them. I'm using the help of of a brush so that I don't dirtify myself but there's no problem if you decide to use your bare hands remember acrylic paint is always good on your skin you'll just wash it out and it gets out easily it comes off easily with water. So we don't have any idea of what I'm going to do. I know you don't have, but inshallah, you will see what I want to do or what will be the outcome once I'm done. You can also use this. These are just simple threads you can find at home. There's no need to go and buy. Bismillah. So after doing that, you can pick one thread after the other. Then come and uh, Apply it on your canvas, like that, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, like that. 
put that on the side pick another thread and apply it like that this one also remember it's just an abstract so you don't have to be perfect and the reason why we are using a thread because it sticks on the canvas then when you pick it up from the canvas it's kinda drags itself back on the canvas which brings a beautiful track on the canvas like this so when I pull it it sticks around the canvas so to me these are like the trees this is my land and these are like the trees and the grass so we are done after that with a little bit of water and the paint that's remaining on your canvas now we can come and stick him stick it wherever you want and draw any pattern that you wish there's nothing wrong or don't be afraid of what you are doing it's just an abstract, you can use different colors. So to me, I reflect this as the land, and earth. And uh, this is the sky. So we can add a little bit of yellow on the sky also, following the pattern that was left behind by the thread so those are grasses and you can say some stones and the roots of the trees and alhamdulillah we are done with our abstract painting as i have said earlier there are so many ways of creating or painting an abstract paint you can use brush strokes some might ask what is a brush strokes you just dip brush into uh, paint then you just do like this those are the brush strokes that we talk about just keep on throwing that's a stroke there's nothing wrong with that. Some say you can use um, a tissue and you just apply, apply like this. There's nothing wrong with that. You can also make an abstract with that, doing that. So it's general, art is general, art is very wide. It's up to you to be creative. And Alhamdulillah, I've tried to be creative enough today to make a landscape with a sky and some trees and some bushes and some grass this will be the end of our lesson for today remember whenever you walk around see trees and see the sky and see the land or the ocean or the sun always remember to praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whenever you see different colors remember that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who created the colors so always glorify allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until we meet again, inshallah, next time. Shukran, ma'asalam, wa billahi tawfiq.